Hey guys, it's Kuve again with another ROM review and this time I've got Neat ROM version 6.1 stock based ROM for Galaxy S3. Now Neat ROM is this long running series of ROM which is based on stock and it's like the basic ROM for Galaxy S3. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Started. Um, I would like to notify that I am using a lighting system which is my overhead lighting and a new angle so if you guys have any problem with this please do let me know in the comment section so that I can change it okay so let's see this is the lock screen which has the uh, ripple effect pretty cool again the launcher uh, there's nothing too much specific to talk about this ROM because this is one of those ROMs which will get your things done which will make you happy it's actually designed for humans it's actually an S3 ROM I really like this ROM I have been using this for a long, long time now and this really feels a fluid fast ROM so let's go to about the about device and here it is uh, you can see this is based on Android 4.3 the baseband version is XXUGMK6 again which is the latest one built number is Neatrom Lite V6.1 now um, what else should I talk about this ROM because this is some uh, kind of ROM which believes that S3 environment the S3 phone is supposed to have only this much options this doesn't have light flare this doesn't have s health uh, and those apps which are actually from other ROMs like note 3 and s4 this doesn't try to be another ROM another phones ROM uh, this is pure s3 experience I would say that much now this does have a few apps extra it does have an aroma installer which I'll show you in the same video because it doesn't have too much of an options so I will show you guys that here is the two options which I really liked is neat EFS tool which backs up the EFS into three uh, parts so you have an Odin package Odin EFS package you've got a tar.gc file and an IMG file which actually does make a lot of sense so it's pretty cool so you can see this uh, it is made in this manner you can read that it's a simple application to backup and restore your EFS so the, yeah that's pretty cool let's exit it and thanks to things okay now it does have an uh, need ROM update tool which I didn't get to right uh, it does require uh, data I don't have data now so I'm not going to go in there but it does have a need ROM updater OTA updater pretty cool stuff um, what else does this have it does comes with an array of uh, installed ROMs the installed apps the only thing I've installed are titanium backup and n 2 benchmark and I would like to show you guys the n 2 score I have already benchmarked it and it gave me a score of 18973 which is considered a good score for a stock based ROM it's, it's definitely not uh, a huge improvement from the stock ROM but it is it is a bit of an improvement it uh, stock ROM normally gives me about uh, 17000 it's 18900 it's close to 19000 that's a 2000 improvement I'm not sure if that translates into anything but hey it's a benchmark so yeah be done with it uh, what else do we have here um, it does have a lot of apps which I will get into when we go for the aroma installation and um, I will show you guys the boot animation in the aroma installation itself because it has a nifty tool which shows you the uh, the boot animation you're installing so that's there so yeah I guess that much is it about this ROM uh, let's go to the aroma installation it does have a four-way reboot so that's handy so we are going to start the aroma installation you can see it is neat ROM okay by sale I guess his name is sale not sure of it so you can see the language is English you have a bunch of other languages too to choose from you can see that next we have the information about the ROM which is version neat ROM uh, light v6.1 version 6.1 17 12 so that's the date of the update let's go 
now you have a terms and condition which no one really reads let's go so you have an option to back up your EFS to your external SD card if you have an external SD card so that's pretty cool so you can select next now we have um, a, a selection for recovery if you have the same recovery you don't need it and I already have fills recovery so you I don't need that so I'm going to skip it does uh, it does give you an option to skip on most of the options so that's pretty cool now you have a kernel installation stock kernel that is mk6 kernel uh, k2 kernel which is Chinese kernel or a skip on the kernel if you want to flash a other kernel like Boyufla or uh, demil kernel or anything like that you do have modem file which is mk6 uh, others or skip I'm going to skip because I don't want any trouble let's see now you have uh, all these apps you can install these are extra G apps you have Chrome Hangout magazine all of these pretty cool I'm going to install all of them because I find it useful you do also have option to have Samsung blotware which you can install it has it does have a lot of them paper artist Polaris viewer something which I always use um, others yes it ha it does have a lot you can read that I'm not going to select everything uh, now we have widget installation digital clock uh, dual clock analog uh, dual clock digital and s planner all of them you do have uh, extra apps these are third party apps like C uh, clockwork mode manager app uh, fast dormancy which is an excellent tool greenify a more excellent tool CPU control light again a really awesome tool to control your voltages under volt or over volt your CPU so that you can have battery life or performance in any way you want exposed frameworks as post one I'm exposed and neat EFS backup bag which I showed you guys so that is available to choose from the aroma package now this is the uh, boot animation page you can select neat or neat ROM boot animation here and then you will be forwarded to a page with four boot animations first of all what I really like is that once you select a boot animation and click next it shows you what the boot animation is it's a really awesome one so first boot my boot animation was that let's go back and se select the second boot animation next second boot animation is this a slightly altered one but essentially the same so back boot animation 3 let's see the other one so this is a flamboyant styled second boot animation so it's available there boot animation 4 again is again a really nice boot animation so you have option to choose what boot animation you want and you have the option to see what it is I've seen a lot of ROMs ha uh, offering a bunch of boot animations but you can't really see what kind of boot animation you're using uh, except you for for you to see what you boot animation you'll be easy using uh, you have to install it and then check or you get you have to take the zip file from the aroma package and then um, transport it to another ROM and do a lot, lot of stuff so that's um, this is much easier so I really like this implementation and I hope uh, most of the other developers also follow this because this is really cool so yeah that is it about the um, aroma package I hope that much is it yeah then install now it does installs so I guess that much is it about the neat ROM uh, again about the ROM in a summary it's actually a ROM which knows it's an S3 ROM it doesn't try to be anything else it's something you can use and I don't see myself not using this as a as my daily driver it's really fast the battery life is awesome I have used it for quite some time and it's really cool um, that said there are other options available which are kind of like this uh, the last ROM uh, which was the Imperium ROM also but th it really did have a few S4 elements like S4 notes S notes and uh, S health and things like that if you really don't use that and I really don't use that this could possibly be your daily driver I didn't find any stucks or any kind of stutter issues with this so yeah go for it so I guess that much is it about the ROM uh, hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful and please 
do comment on the video that if you found this lighting solution acceptable or anything if you don't like it please do say that uh, so that I can kind of do something about it so yeah hope you guys like the video again uh, see you guys next time bye